All right, welcome to the pit. Today we're doing the almighty cholesterol cluster bacon bomb. That's right. This is a bacon bomb using some almighty rub. Oh, yeah, it's a cholesterol cluster. All right, straight from uh, one of our German chapters, Waterbug Blue. Ernst is uh, cooking up about a half a pound of diced bacon there, or cut up bacon. Now, this recipe is going to need a couple of onions. We got some real pretty red onions here. Oh, we're just going to chop them up. This is going to be good. I am telling you, this is a treat for the holidays, and you'll soon see why. Now, of course, we can uh, speed up this video, right, for those who are impatient, but most want to hang around a bit, right? Get the details. So here, uh, Ernst is peeling off the layered skin, right? That's a little bit uh, tougher on the onion. And then he'll chop it up. Now, if you uh, are interested in starting your own chapter, you can head on over to our website, right? BarbecuePitBoys.com, and we'll hook you up. All right. Oh, yeah. Like I said, details. It's like an apprenticeship, right? The masters show you how it's done, and then you're good for life. Oh, wow. Okay. Nice. We can just eat those right now. Man. All right, let's check on that uh, bacon. Looks pretty good. He's got it in a cast iron pan. Same old, same old. Right. Makes uh, frying bacon real easy. Nice. All right. Same, same now with some peppers. We got some sweet peppers here. And here we have a little bit of uh, heat. A couple of chili peppers. Use as much as you want. Or as little as you want. And if you don't like the heat, don't use it. All right. Like I said, looks real pretty now, right? With all those colors. It's all part of the presentation. So, Ernst has got the peppers cut up, sliced up, and now, ooh, he's got about a dozen quail eggs. Now, they've been soft-boiled, or boiled, and you're just peeling the shell off. You know all about this. If you've never had quail eggs, <laughs> check them out. That's some good eating there, man. Oh, yeah. The bacon is done. Pull it off the grill. Now, as many of you know, the bacon bomb needs the bacon weave. And you've seen us do this before, right? You gotta make a weave. So what he's doing here is he's separating each strip there's probably a good pound of bacon there. And what the weave is going to do is keep this all together. Okay. See him interlace it. This is the uh, great part of barbecue, right? Takes you a little time to get it all together. And you throw it on a grill. A little bit later, 
you're eating some great food. Something you can't pick up, right? At the drive up line. And very few restaurants, too, right? So it's best you learn how to do your own. The bacon bomb. Oh, yeah. Now, this is about the time you're going to need to get up and go into the reef fridge, get a cold one, come back, continue to watch this. See? Piece by piece. It's like making a basket. Or, no, it's not. But... You get the drift, right? All right, going together pretty good. You're probably already into a six pack now too, right? So, but that's all right. We're gonna take our time. All right. The bottom part of the weave is done. Now we have um, some ground beef and we have the almighty. Now this is what makes it the almighty cholesterol cluster bacon bomb. Some almighty. And of course you can... Uh, Find your Almighty in some of your local stores. If your manager doesn't have it, ask him. Oh, man. Now, there's about three pounds of ground beef Try to use ground chuck if you can. There's more flavor in the grind. Put in some more Almighty. That's Pitmaster Privilege. Give it a good mix. Now, if you can't find the Almighty, substitute your favorite rub. But for those who use our Almighty, of course, we appreciate your support. We've been doing this now for eh, about 17 years. <laughs> Since caveman days. So you can see Ernst here is doing a good mix. You want an even mix in there. All right. Now. We're gonna add a little bit more uh, Almighty to the bacon weave. Why not, right? And we're gonna take the ground beef and layer it on top. Oh, oh yeah. Yep. Not much more to say, right? <laughs> Yep, barbecue is low and slow, right? Take your time to get it right. We're in no rush. Now, we've got some uh, shredded cheese, about a half a pound of shredded. And on go, I don't know, about a dozen quail eggs. <laughs> oh man. Look at that. Perfect. Now the diced uh, peppers. Some of those are sweets, like little mini bells. Some heat. 
now goes into bacon. Never enough bacon. We got the onions. It becomes art. It's like a Bob Ross thing, right? Now he's going to layer the remaining ground beef on top. Now, there are a couple different ways of doing bacon bomb, but this method works best. Oh, yeah. The hands of God making an igloo. Now, the rest of the bacon. goes. Now the bacon sticks like glue. Right? Now I know some of you are getting all jittery now. We're just going step by step. But you're well into a sixer by now, right? So, what's the diff? Yeah, you can get a little complex. Uh, some critters are coming around to check it out. There you go. Fly. Getting real close. Goes, yeah. After dinner snack. Ooh. Sometimes we get uh, questions. 
How can you guys eat outside with all the insects and the bugs? Ew. Are you kidding me? Bugs, insects, whatever you want to call them, they're part of life. You deal with them. And if they get too close to the barbecue, you cook them. Now look at that. Looks like a big turkey. Whoa. All right. Now, we've got the uh, grill temperature maybe at about 325 degrees Fahrenheit, more or less. We're doing indirect cooking, not directly over the charcoal. The charcoal is on either side of that uh, of that bomb, so we get uh, even cooking, right? So in the meantime, you got to probably an hour and a half to wait, more or less. So uh, we got another reason to use this uh, cutting board. Now, this is pitmaster privilege. I don't need to say any more. Now, if you're offended, just look the other way. But there's nothing like a fine cigar at the barbecue. Well done, Ernst. Cheers. Barbecue pit boys for life, right? And in a miracle of time, this almighty cholesterol cluster bacon bomb is done. Oh. Take a look at this. Joke, man. Look at that. So, uh, of course, you guys want to see what's on the inside. That's part of it. Oh. Lord have mercy. There's a full meal right there. You got the beef. Got the veggies, got some heat, got the sweet. For. This is the part where the pit master is going to eat in front of you, and I don't think he's going to apologize either. Mm. Good. Ooh. Dang. So from our water bug blue chapter in Germany, awesome. And the next time you're looking for a recipe for your pit, check out barbecuepitboys.com.